Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash, Supergirl and also the new show, Stargirl. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So Stargirl is a new show, it's coming out I think at the start of May. Some episode screeners are going out right now, I'm trying to do my best to get my hands on them so I can review the show for you as soon as possible. If it's really good, I do plan on actually covering this show because it's of interest because I really like Stargirl. It's a lot to do with the JSA and I love the JSA. There's stuff to do with Green Lantern and The Flash as well. So lots of interesting concepts in this show. So before we get into this, let me know in the comments down below, do you want me to cover Stargirl? Is that a thing you want to see? Okay, so this comes from an IGN article, this sort of basis for this whole video. So it's a very long article. It's an exclusive first look at some of the characters and some of the stuff that's going on. They did a big interview and also they released a new poster for the show. And so we're going to talk about all of that in today's video. Mainly to do with the crossover stuff actually because there is a lot of teasers which are very, very exciting. Okay, so let's go into this first quote and I'll have the poster on the screen right now. I think the poster is not so good. I think it's very stylized. It's kind of very very early 2000s i don't know it's just not the best graphic design but then i guess you know the other poster they released was very cool when it was just stargirl so maybe this is just a one-off but all the characters look really good obviously this is a big change on the jsa they're all very young they're all kind of different some of them have been gender bent and stuff like that so i'm intrigued to see what happens and i think the costumes are kind of interesting I'm not sure if they're up to like CW standards, but I think the Stargirl suit especially looks really cool. But the thing is, we have to obviously compare the JSA to what we saw in Legends, and I thought their costumes were amazing. So, yeah, that's just me, but we'll have to wait and see when we go into the show. But anyway, so the first quote comes from, I think it's Jeff John, so yeah, he talks about this. And this is the quote. Green Lantern and Flash are spoken of, and they exist in the JSA. There's a picture of them in the first episode, and there's plans in the future for things. But Jay Garrick and Alan Scott, to me, are always the elderly statesmen. They're the big heroes of the JSA, and their shadow is very long, and they're great characters. They are a part of the original JSA, and their legacies will be felt throughout the show. I don't want to spoil too much about it, but I can leave it at that. Okay, so just quickly talking about like what I was talking about in regards to the JSA being different in this show. Turns out, according to this, there was an original JSA and this is like a newer version of the JSA. So I'm guessing the JSA I'm used to is more like the original JSA, which was, I guess, a bit more similar to what we saw in Legends. So it's going to be different and I'm looking forward to that. And it's very exciting that he talks about specifically Jay Garrick and Alan Scott are actually in the show. Like, they're going to be mentioned, probably going to appear at some point. And I'm really curious to see if John Wesley Ship shows up as Jay Garrick. Because this is, you know, on Earth 2, as it was confirmed in Crisis, there is the multiverse out there, but we don't know about that right now. Obviously, we think there's just Earth Prime, but they did confirm there's still other Earths out there, but they're different, basically. And so Stargirl's on Earth 2, and you have this different version of Jay Garrick, and obviously you've got Green Lantern, which is confirming, yes, there is the Green Lanterns in the Arrowverse, and we sort of confirmed that at the end of Arrow as well with John Diggle, but... I'm very curious to see if Jay Garrick, our version, actually shows up on the show. I think that would be really good. And he literally mentions the fact that there's a picture of them in the first episode. So they are 100% in there. That being Green Lantern and this version of The Flash. And also there are plans for things in the future. So that meaning they're probably going to bring Jay Garrick and Alan Scott on at some point. And so according to Jeff Johns, that arrangement wasn't planned from the start but came after production had halted and he's talking about Stargirl showing up in Crisis, that is what this is in reference to, and so the CW's Mark Pedowitz had an opportunity to see the footage and said, I was incredibly excited about the opportunity for that because it just meant more people would see it and totally Stargirl and the whole show has always been for everybody. And anyone can watch it, so it fits in nicely to that world. It fits in nicely to things like The Flash, so that was something that was new. So, I guess that kind of wraps up, like, how Stargirl showed up in Crisis. So, it seems like 
it was actually Mark Pedowitz who was in charge of putting it, like, or suggesting that Stargirl should have a scene in Crisis after they finish, because if you didn't know, Stargirl finished filming, like, quite a long time ago, and they're actually going to air all the episodes, so, you know, they don't have any problems with production schedules and such like that, but it's nice that he said it fits in nicely to things like The Flash, so he really wanted it to be in the crossover, so obviously that puts the idea in our heads, obviously back in Crisis when we saw the episodes, Stargirl was probably going to cross over at some point, and there's an actual talk of that. So, there's been conversations. Bassinger, who is one of the people in charge of the show, has told IGN that there have already been some preliminary talks and discussions about a Flash and Stargirl crossover. So, this is the quote. There have been talks of Stargirl getting an episode of The Flash and having a bigger storyline, but it didn't happen this season. But I just think that would be the coolest thing. So much of my family has watched The Flash over the years. So it's really interesting to actually think that they've been talking about this. Yes, they probably talked about it at the start when they were, you know, just negotiating with the CW because at first this was just supposed to be on DC Universe and then they made some sort of deal that they're going to switch it over so it would air on a certain time. On the CW and I think it goes on DC Universe maybe the day after or it's vice versa so correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below but it's something like that and I'm guessing as soon as they sort of made this deal with the CW there was definitely talks about the Flash crossover and definitely Supergirl which we'll talk about in a minute and so it's great to hear that they've actually had these discussions and they've not just thought about it they've legit like sat down and actually, you know, maybe planned a little piece of what could happen in the future out. But also, they say talk, so there's been more than one. It's not just been one sit-down talk. But there's been further thought on, you know, what they could do with The Flash and how they could have a bigger storyline. But obviously, it's not going to happen in Season 1 because they finished filming Season 1. And she said it didn't happen this season. So, obviously, they've had their mini crossover because they were included in Crisis, but we will probably see in Season 2 a crossover with one of these shows, and it seems very likely that it will be The Flash or Supergirl. And let's talk about Supergirl now. So, while a Flash and Stargirl team-up sounds promising, says IGN, Bassinger told IGN that she's more eager for a Supergirl crossover. So, this is the quote from IGN. Last night, I was watching a bunch of interviews of Melissa Benoist, and she's just the best Supergirl. I bet Stargirl and Supergirl would be this dynamic duo. That would be just awesome. So yes, my hopes are high. I really, really hope for it, but as of right now, nothing has been planned, but fingers crossed. So yeah, really interesting, and I think Stargirl would be a great fit for The Flash or Supergirl, and I think it's probably going to happen at some point, and I would really like it to happen next season. Although I would probably prefer like a Flash and Supergirl crossover because we haven't had one of those since the musical crossover a few years back in 2017 and that is definitely my favourite episode like of all time in the Arrowverse so I would like that again. However, I really love crossovers and I think the smaller crossovers should come back. They haven't done anything proper like this. Obviously you've had a few characters like Diggle coming over to the Flash and stuff like that but that doesn't really count as like a proper crossover. So like a proper episode dedicated to like both of the shows and I think that would be great if it was Stargirl. And so obviously she thinks that, and I'm talking about Bassinger here, she thinks it's a really good idea to cross over Supergirl because she thinks they would really make a great duo, that being Stargirl and Supergirl. And I think this would make a lot of sense considering the tone of like the trailers and everything. It seems to be more in the line of Supergirl. But I think it's going to be a bit more campy, a bit more kind of like Legends. So maybe Legends is a good idea as well because, you know, the JSA was on Legends. You've had Stargirl. Obviously, that version of Stargirl was a lot more serious and a lot more grounded than what we've seen in the trailers as far as I have interpreted. So for now, I think Supergirl or The Flash is a pretty good bet and I would really like to see that. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. What do you think about this? Do you want to see Stargirl crossing over with The Flash or Supergirl or both? And also, do you want to see The Flash and Supergirl crossover sometime again in the near future? Let me know. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy room.